part two. Hello all you hardcores, keep tuning in. Shout out to all you haters as well. You keep listening. I keep watching. Right. Where does this leave the can man? Dillian Y. Anyone who can who, can, who wants it can get it. I'm the can man. Malcolm Tan. He can get it. Malcolm Tan can get it. Or uh, Marius Vak. <laughs> Wilder can get it as well now. Because Dillian White's now WBC number one. So... So where does it leave Dillian White? Well, he's now the WBC number one. They've reinstated him. Which means he can get two more pay-per-views in next year. To take his pay-per-view total to six. Carl Frotch only had three. So six pay-per-view for Dillian White. And he's not even fought for a European title yet. Never mind a world title. Giving the fans what they want. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Dillian's fought fans, just giving the fans what they want. You, the boxing fans, get your 25 quids out. That's what it's all about. You've got two more pay-per-views to pay for Dillian White before they're going to put him near Wilder. So you keep coughing up, and I'll keep talking about it. So, that's what it's all about, though, isn't it? Taking the money off the fans for pay-per-view. I mean, White and Ergovic, they're gonna go. They're gonna go chase Wilder, aren't they? All right, 2021. Usyk's gonna mop up the WBO, leaving the big, the big weightlifter with the IBO, IBF, and the WBA. So Joshua's still gonna have three belts. Usyk's gonna have a foot one belt, and Wilder's gonna have uh, a belt. The Ring Magazine belt's still vacant, and Tyson Fury is still claiming to be the, the, the lineal champion, whatever that means. So we are going to be looking at four men saying they're the kings. <laughs> <laughs> so last week we could have had Ruiz against Wilder for all the marbles, but now, and even bringing a Ring Magazine belt in, but now we're going to end up by when we get to June, we're going to have four men claiming to be the best. <laughs> Legit. Oh, we a legitimate claim. So, I mean, it's craziness, isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice, though, if Pinocchio, the Bob Father, Al Capone, Eamon, and old Fish Eyes Frank, wouldn't it be nice, you know, Eddie Hearn, Bob Arum, Al Eamon, Frank Warren could all sit down over a Costa coffee or a Nando's, a cheeky Nando's, and get one champion sorted in a tournament. And then if they want, and then if they want, and then if they want, split all the belts up afterwards. But if possible, let's just have one champion out of all of them, and then they can split them all up and go their separate ways and keep all the sponsors happy. But We've got to have one champion. We've got to have it. Maybe there might be a tournament down the line, who knows? But we've got to have Fury, Usek, Joshua, Dillian White, Tyson Fury, you know, all them. Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz. I mean, there's all them. You could pick eight guys there and we could get them all in mix and let them all get at it. So, current state of play at the moment. The number one heavyweight in boxing. I mean, it's all up in air, isn't it? I mean, you'd probably have to go with Joshua, wouldn't you? Because he's got five wins over world champions. And he's got four at belts at the moment. Wilder's got two wins over world champions and one belt. Fury's got this Laniel belt that he goes on about. And he's got a win over Cunningham and Vladimir. But Fury's win over Vladimir is probably the best win out of all of them. Because, you know, Vladimir adult belts and he was still he'd been undefeated only nine and a half year so i mean and if you if usek ends it with wbo there's going to be four guys there i mean we could throw another four guys into the mix they all could have a tournament but how would they all be able to agree on money they'd be going on about well i've got more belts than him so i should get more money than him and blah de blah and i'm an harder puncher than him so i should get more money than him and it's just never going to work in it it's, you know, it's just never going to work. And we're all, we've got so close to having one champion. 
and now look what we've got now we're, we're going to have four people claiming claim and this is the blue blue ribbon division do you know what i mean and, and now we've got all these youtubers like hanging out at the back of them because they've had a press pass it's embarrassing they're, they're all going to push this narrative on they're not going to be talking like I'm talking now, are they here? Now, are they heck? Are they heck? Do you know what I mean? I might put another billboard up, actually, at, at Christmas. Make a phone call, put another billboard up. I think I've stopped saying, saying poster, but it's not going to mean anything, me sticking billboards up around South Yorkshire, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to mean anything, is it? So, what's it going to mean? It's just going to give me a load... Of, going to give me an headache, and it's just going to... I was gonna have to go through a load of paperwork, and I had to laugh though when somebody somebody commented on here the other day saying that we just put it up and it got torn down. What a load of old rubbish! No, nope, got torn down. You're listening to too much poppycock, Mr. Danny Ryan. Don't listen to rubbish. Listen to the man himself. If I want, I'll stick another one up at Christmas. If I want, I might put one up in a couple of weeks, just for you, Danny Ryan, eh? Just for you, eh? You don't just go around putting posters up without permission. You get in trouble off police. Can't do that. We don't break the law here at Porky's Corner. But I don't know. I don't know where boxing heads now. I'm a massive boxing fan. Heavyweight division is the blue ribbon. Right? The blue ribbon division. And if the heavyweight division's in a chaos, what what we're going to do? I mean, we've even got Floyd Mayweather coming back in May. What's all that about? Floyd Mayweather coming back. A hey, 43 years of age and Floyd Mayweather coming back. Who wants to see him at 43 year old? Hey, he's got a tax bill. But you'd have to go with Joshua number one, Wilder two, Fury three. Joshua, like it or not, he's got four belts. Wilder's one belt, Fury's no belts. But he does have best win out of them all on his CV, Vladimir 2015. But it means nothing as Wilder will not be risked near Joshua and Joshua won't be risked near Wilder they're not going to risk Al Heyman and Eddie Hearn are not going to risk it it's too risky you know Wilder's an ice man but he can be outboxed can Joshua outbox him I don't know I think Wilder gets to him can Fury outbox Wilder yeah I think he can outbox him a fit Fury yeah I think he could can Wilder get to him yeah I think he can get to him so that's a bit that's a more intriguing fight but it's all on Tyson Fury now. He's 10 week to prove he's the man and dethrone Wilder from his WBC kingdom. Oh, will Tyson pull out? We don't know. We don't know, do we? Will Wilder pull out? We don't know. So on CV alone, Joshua is the best CV out of the top guys at heavyweight. He's Olympic gold as well and... Like I said, five wins over world champions. Do we include Dillian White in the, at the top table? Well, we're going to have to do his WBC number one, mandatory. And he's he's got two wins over champions, just same as Wilder, just same as Fury. You know, he's beat Brown and Parker. You know, Parker beat Ruiz. Ruiz beat Joshua, so... You know, and, and Joshua beat Ruiz. Joshua beat White as well so anybody on any given day can probably beat somebody this is what makes it intriguing but they all want to go the separate ways and pile money up look Dillian White's WBC mandatory now right so he's got what he wanted but he's not going to push for the Wilder fight this year coming he's going to want to get two more pay-per-views in against Chisora and Parker that's what he's going to want to do Dillian White Chisora trilogy or Parker rematch Will Dillian ever get to Wilder? I'm not so sure. I think Dillian could end up losing his slot if he keeps taking these risky fights. Uh, well, we now got to go through two more Dillian White fights on Sky with the narrative being that the WBC are in Al Heyman's, or Al Capone I call it, Al Capone's pocket, and that Dillian has been wronged by UCAD that his two year ban a while back was harsh yeah I think it was as Enzo Macaronelli got a six month ban didn't he for using an over the counter supplement so Dillian is really the underdog but 
it is still all a bit smelly from all involved if you ask me from Dillian knowing and her knowing to Oscar Rivers not knowing that leaves a bad taste in my mouth Sky Sports will have known as well if her knew as he is their partner he's their broadcast partner isn't he if Sky didn't know and Hearn did know, there'd be lawsuits flying about. But I am not going to be poster boy for what's right. And what's wrong and what's not right around drugs as I'm last person, me <laughs> really am I? I'm 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 last person's talk. With the nosebleeds I've had in the last 10 years and God knows what else I've shoved down my, my throat. But I'm not a heavyweight boxer punching people in head for a living, am I? Dillian White and Oscar Rivers are heavyweight boxers, contenders. They both fought on a pay-per-view event called Sky TV box office at 20 quid for no belt. Both born outside the UK. Now, Dillian White had adverse findings in his A sample, we're told by Thomas Hauser. Dillian knew, Rivers didn't know. And it's all gone away inside 171 days, which to me is not bad considering my friend Liam Cameron's been at it 22 a month and still fighting UCAD on his appeal verdict. So what I can't stomach in all this is the back slappers the backtrackers, the people who had Dillian White's back or say they did when they didn't. We know what I'm on about, don't we? Mr Unbearable from Liverpool. That's what I can't stomach in all this, as it gives me the ulcer. I can't have the ulcer. Finishing off, I just want to thank all them who subscribed this month, all 162 people, who simply pressed the red button for Uncle Porky. Thanks very much. A few more still need to press it, as according to my analytics today, 40.04% still watching an average of 119 minutes per day on my channel. But they're not subscribing, so they must be matching them FC mob, eh? On ticket deals for when Liverpool Echo Arena's open for Callum Smith shows and Beefy Smith shows. That must be it. That must be what it is, eh? I don't know, but thank you very much to all them people who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so because you get your porky fix straight away. And then you can comment in the comment section like Mr. Box Clever, who were uh, begging me for a hoodie last week, and uh, that Danny Ryan, who don't even exist. And you spell Danny with two N's, Danny, not three. <laughs> hey, oh my God. Hey. But, what can you do? Big shout out to my new assistant. Dealing with all the stuff behind the scenes. Email, YouTube channel, comments and and business opportunities coming in. And things like that. Thank you very much. Uh, and a massive shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging Services for backing the channel. The channel's growing at the moment and it's here to stay. And by the looks of it, Dennis Sobson's Fight Academy is growing as well. So that's good, isn't it? Massive things lined up for Josh Whale in February and then in June or July. And uh, I'm in a good place for being part of uh, part of it all, obviously working with Dennis and being part of Team Whale, helping out Mick Whale and Josh Whale. So thanks very much, Mick Whale. I know you're listening. And Josh, thank you very much. Both been fantastic to me and uh, showing me a different side of boxing so thank you very much to everybody for listening peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing don't have nightmares all right don't forget to leave a nice comment all right all your waiters out there i'm going to turn you into porky lovers all right so peace out and shout out to my pal from devon who's got cancer i'm not going to say his name on here but I hope he's all right. I hope you're all right, mate. And I'm thinking of you. It's not nice having cancer. And uh, it's not good at all. So try and stay strong and be positive. And I'm glad that my videos are, uh, are cheering you up. 
all right my friend peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing oink oink